Hey, listen, for all you folks out there that work nine to five or a salary job, today we're gonna to talk about how do voluntary benefits affect me no matter where I work. Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Gill, Epic Financial Strategies, and I'm with my man, my partner, up, Klaus Bartram, Voluntary Benefits Specialist. And Klaus, listen, this is for all the folks out there that you know work the nine to five employees, that they really want to have a good understanding, no matter where they work, how their voluntary benefits affect them. Okay. Where would you start? I, I would definitely start in HR, right, to make sure that your company's offered voluntary benefits, but. Nowadays, in 2021, most companies have voluntary benefits. They have the Aflacs out there, the Colonials, the Prudentials, the MetLife's, all these different companies. What it's meant to do, it's meant to protect your income, right? If you're sick, hurt, you can't work, and a doctor puts you out, you're going to get paid for being out. He just said, sick, hurt, and can't work. Take that and rewind it back. I love that. Is that did you create that slogan? Is I did that... not create that. I think it was Yogi Berra. Yogi Berra. I think so. Okay, so now, like, can you share some stories? Because... You know, I know a lot of times, sometimes kids come up to your son in school, right? Based on some of the stuff that you were sharing that happened. Hey, listen, your dad was able to protect me because of... Well, it's um, adults or teachers would walk up to my, my child in school. It'd be cool if their kids were doing it. But I've had, I, I, most of my career, I've enjoyed, you know, schools and police and uh, municipalities. But I, I've had a client in the past that, that you know... I'm ashamed to say, not that I forgot about this person, but yeah. you know, I, you enroll people constantly and people move on to different things or bigger things. And um, in the school district that actually my kids go to, I had a teacher reach out to my son and say, hey, you know, your father, if it wasn't for your father, we would probably have lost our house. And I just thought wow. that was pretty awesome. And I thought it was cool because my family got to hear that, you know, first hand, first ear. When, when the teacher comes up to your son and, and, and says what you did, can you share with the folks out there what actually was that story pertaining to voluntary benefits? Uh, absolutely. So this was actually for maternity because the, the good thing is maternity is actually counted as a sickness. So if you're sick, hurt, you can't work, thinking about having a baby, that's going to be covered under any kind of disability insurance. So that's what this is. Like in New Jersey, for example, any teacher is not covering their state disability. So if they don't have their own policy, they're, they're out of luck. Can you explain that a little bit deeper? Because that's pretty important because you talk about state versus non-state and, and what that looks like. That's, that's an important distinction. So, so some states, obviously, their employees have state disability. Some states they do not. Some states, some employees do and, and some people don't. There are southern states that no one has state disability. Here in New Jersey, it could be police, it could be teachers, municipality workers. They don't pay into any state kind of disability. So if they're sick, hurt, and can't work, and they don't have their own policy, they're in trouble. Yeah, I keep hearing sick, hurt, and can't work. That's, that's going to be in my head all day. So, Klaus, for, for these folks out there, you mentioned go to, go to human resources, right? Is there certain other things that they're just not aware of? Maybe someone that's listening right now, you could really have an impact on them that they're not thinking about that you could share beyond go to human resources. Yeah, obviously you do a little research in, in voluntary benefits, that's what's bringing you here today, uh, about disability insurance, accident insurance, all those kind of different vehicles you could, you could have. But the whole point is what's gonna protect you the most, what's gonna help your family the most, what's gonna pay that mortgage, what's gonna pay that income. Um, but like I said, the Aflacs out there, the MetLife's, the Colonials, that's what they're there for. And they're inexpensive. So that client who is working paycheck to paycheck, which millions do, yeah. they could have their own policy for seven bucks a week, 10 bucks a week, you know, 15 bucks a pay, and that's gonna help them. And is there a way, is there someone to call to find out this information? I know, you're, is there somewhere to look online? Like, what does that look like? Yeah, obviously you could click on the link below, and we're gonna be more happy to, more than happy to help you, but your school district or your, the place you work, you know, HR, they're gonna know exactly what to offer to you. So it's just important, when it comes to voluntary benefits, a lot of them are the same. So if somebody has a, a six month benefit that's gonna have a 14 day waiting period, I know that sounds a little crazy, you almost wanna go what's the most inexpensive at that point because a lot of them are literally the same because all these voluntary benefits companies, they're kind of just piggybacking off each other. You know, and it's you know? amazing. Every time I talk to somebody that works with you, they're always like raving fans. Like there's everyone always wants to say, hey Klaus, that guy Klaus is a great guy. Is there strategies, and I don't know, I'm just speaking openly, is there strategies that you do to show people how they could pay for this by looking at their overall planning strategies? Is there certain things that you incorporate? Uh, yeah, um, I'd like to see where they're saving their money. You know, some people just, just like you know, some people have saved their money in places that in no way, shape or form should they be spending it here. Um, 
for disability purposes, you know, if you're spending money or saving money here or there, it doesn't matter. You should have your own policy for disability insurance. So, so you're saying not only have a voluntary benefit policy, but an individual policy as well? It, yeah, depending on what you do. A lot of times that individual policy is going to pay you till you're 65 years old. But typically at work, you're going to have something that pays you for six months or 12 months. So God forbid you were diagnosed with cancer. God forbid you had a stroke. This policy short term might only pay you for six months or a year which is absolutely perfect because you don't need something longer than that because you know i've been doing this for about 18 years and you know unfortunately and fortunately i, I i've seen people diagnosed with cancer and they're back to work in four months and you're saying is, the biggest challenge is that first four to six months where there's no money coming in yeah uh so with short-term disability you could get paid after 14 days 14 days you could get paid after seven days you get paid after 30 days so take advantage of voluntary benefits if it's coming out of your payroll so listen, folks, I, I understand the question, you know, how does it work for me, right? Now, if you're an entrepreneur and that's all you are as an entrepreneur to own your own business, right? As a business owner, you're the only employee. Yes, there's a strategy to get voluntary benefits. But for you that's working nine to five, that at night is creating that side hustle, that at night is creating that dream come true. How do I have independent wealth? Well, remember during the day, your, your day job is going to give you those voluntary benefits and at night, it's going to give you the ability to keep working, God forbid, if you have to tap into that. Is that a fair statement? Is there anything yeah, else Yeah, it's, it's a fair statement. It, it, with voluntary benefits and disability, it's, you know, I'm going to say this again, but it's black and white. You're sick, Kurt, you can't work, and that doctor puts you out. You're getting paid X amount of money. And to piggyback on that really quick, there's a lot of different policies that will pay you on the job, too. So, God forbid, uh, let's just say I was a corrections officer, or I was a police officer, and I got hurt on that job. I am collecting workman's comp. But I'm going to get paid disability on top of that, too, because there's on and off the job disability. Huge, 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 depending on what you do for a living. So if you're a small business owner and you're starting out and you have two employees or three employees or five employees, whatever it might be, for you, this is just a perfect way to enhance your benefit package at no cost. Because this isn't going to cost anything to that business owner. But you know what he's going to do here? He is saying, hey, I want my employees to have these benefits. So again, if they want them, they want them. If they don't, they don't. But as a business owner, you're able to offer these products, these employees, at no cost to you. And uh, listen, Klaus Bartram is dropping knowledge. And here at Epic, by the way, as you know, every single day we are bringing out new videos. We are providing world-class education. Go ahead and click that link below. Hey, you might even have a question. If you want to put a question inside, ask a question. I'll make sure that Klaus gets back to you, to you or one of the team members. And once again, thank you for listening to the show.